Hey guys, um, alright, this is part two of three, um, and this is a tutorial for isopops, which look like this. And they can be done, you know, kind of just about anywhere. Up here, down here, oh, over here, behind you, um, you know, it's a lot of different ways to do it and a lot of variations. So this is going to be isopops and their variations. Okay, so um, let's get started. <laughs> Basically, the only thing you're going to need to know is how to do an exhalation, which is just keeping the hoop still and moving it around, around. And you can find a thousand tutorials for this, so nothing about it teaching it. Um, but, okay. So, to get started, you hold the hoop, my grip is, oh, let me tip this down a little bit, sorry, alright, my grip is over the top, holding on kind of tight, 6 o'clock, tilt this up, this, and then what we're going to do, is let our arm cross our body and be holding the hoop at about three o'clock and the top of my hand is facing towards the inside of the hoop now just like a regular isolation when you roll your hand around and you grab it we're doing the same thing and we're going to grab how about 11 and then bring it down back to start so you'll see if you doing this, and you stop, pop it out, and come back down. And, all right. So I think I'm gonna go over the um, that part a little bit more thoroughly, just to make sure everyone gets it. So starting down here, six o'clock, pops out to three arm crosses the body, then grabbing over here at about 10 maybe, and then bring your arm back down to 6 right here. You know, get really comfortable with doing that and switching your grip over here where the top of your hand is facing inside of the hoop and then bringing it down. As you get more comfortable with it, you'll be able to make a more fluid motion. And what I tend to do is pop it out and then start bringing my arm down as I'm grabbing it. So my arm is going like this. And I really do emphasize doing that with your wrist because it allows the hoop to kind of go a little bit more smoothly like this. And what you really want to do is exaggerate that arm movement because that's what makes it pop out. So say I'm doing this isolation and I go like this, but really thrust your arm out. And that is going to get that popping effect. So six, three, ten, six. Just like this. And you'll see if you look closely that when I do this, my hand is going like that, and then over to here, and down again. Just like in a regular isolation when it goes like that. The only difference is that you're pushing your arm out to and then bringing it down and completing the isolation. Um, I would practice with both hands, going the other way, it's the same thing. Six, this is called nine, back and then down. And, um, you know, try to do as, you know, many weird variations as you can. You know, when you see people and they're saying, like this, they go, like this, and I know, too. That's just a nice up up, but the two at the same time. Um, you can do it up like this. This way, you know, 
yeah, so, anyway, I hope that helps.